Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to talk about colour temperature when it comes to LED lights. Now a long time ago we didn't have to worry about this because most lights in your house were incandescent and they used to glow red hot and give off this yellow type of light. But nowadays with the LED lights they're not glowing red hot anymore so the colour is manufactured so you can choose. You can go for like a white colour or you can go for a yellow colour. The problem is it can be confusing when you're looking on Amazon and eBay and different catalogues and websites because it will often be called cool white or warm white and you might not be sure what that means. Well, hopefully after watching this video, you'll have a better idea. Now, the best thing to go by is the number with the K after it. So if you look at lights, most of the time it will have, for example, 2700 K. Now this company is calling it a very warm white. This one here is a 2700K warm light and then they would have for example 6500 would be called a daylight. Now it's generally called warm light and then as it starts to get more white towards a blue colour it will be called a cool light then a daylight but that can vary between different manufacturers so if you go by the K number then that's a scale that people stick to. It's a scale that's been around for 150 odd years and long before LED bulbs. So it's a colour temperature scale. So to give you an idea of what it is, this is it here, it's a colour temperature in Kelvin and basically named after somebody, a Scottish mathematician stroke physicist uh, named Lord Kelvin and what he did is he got a lump of carbon and he started heating up this lump and basically the carbon started glowing red then it started as it was getting hotter and hotter it started to go yellow then as it got really hot, it went to white and then a whitish blue. So this is the Kelvin scale here. So further down is actually colder than higher up, which is kind of the opposite of what we would think because generally speaking, we call this a warm white and this a cold white. And yet it's the opposite because I know, because I've bought these LEDs, that this one over here is 2700 temperature which is here and this one over here is between six and seven thousand which is all the way up here so really this is given off a much hotter light as far as the temperature is concerned but yet we would call this like a cool or a day white and this one a warm light and obviously this as well looks much more warm and inviting than this one here which can look quite cold so it's the opposite of what you would actually think but hopefully that will make a bit of sense to you now so when you see the color there's no arguing if somebody's selling you a 6000 K light you know it's gonna be white bordering on the blue if somebody's selling you a 3000 K light you know it's gonna be a, a nice warm color similar to what the incandescent light bulbs used to be years ago so for example candle flame 1800 sunset sunrise and sunset 2500 the old fashioned incandescent bulbs, 3,000. And then as you go up, you've got moonlight, 4,000. Midday sun, 5,500. Cloudy sky, 6,500. Clear blue sky, 10,000. So that's just a rough guide of what the different colors are. So for example here, this light over here is a 2,700. The manufacturer calls it a warm white light. This one over here, is between 6,000 K and 7,000 K and the manufacturer calls it a day or a pure white and you can really see there's a huge difference if you were putting them in your room you're going to get a lot different feeling than putting these in your room now where you put them is completely up to you and it depends on your style of your house and the rooms in my opinion I think because we're so used to incandescent bulbs from years and years ago, they give off a nice warm, cosy feeling. So I think bedrooms and living rooms and basically the majority of rooms I, th I personally think looks better with a warm light, a colour temperature of around 2700 to 3000 K. Now the rooms that would look good with, for example, a cool white light or a day white light would be, for example, kitchens and also I actually quite like bathrooms as well but it depends some people like their bathrooms to be relaxing so they want to put a warm light in but if rooms like kitchens and stuff I think it suits it to look really bright but if you put these lights everywhere in your house then it can look a bit uh, it can look a bit 
glary, you know, if this is in your living room, because it is as strong. Basically, as you start going really up the scale, you're mimicking daylight, and you might not want daylight in your living room when it's 10 at night and you're relaxing watching TV. When you look at your LED bulbs, you will see the K number on them, and then it will give you an idea of what it's like. So, for example, here, this is a GU10 fitting and if you have a look it says 2700k very warm white so you know by 2700k it's going to be a yellowy color and then if you have a look here warm white and then it would say here what warm white means 3000k so it's going to be slightly whiter than this not quite as yellow as this and then on this manufacturer they're calling a cool white 6000k but yet other manufacturers would call 6000k probably more like a day white because cool white is often when you have a look at different ones often 4000k so if we were just to have a, a scan through different ones in here you've got for example this light down here you've got warm white 3000k cool white 4000k and then if we go up to this one here, this Philips one, it will say warm white 2700K, cool white 4000K. But yet this one here is warm white 3000K, cool white 6500K. So you can see here that if you were to get a cool white on this particular LED here, that it's going to be much more bluer than a cool white on, for example, this Aurora one down here because this is only 4000k on the cool white so we're going from 4000k which is a kind of yellowy white all the way up to 6500k which is definitely more a whitish blue so go by the K numbers and then you will definitely get the color or near enough the color that you want because remember there's going to be a variation from manufacturer to manufacturer right I'm just going to show you now a room with this particular light in and then I'm going to show you the same room with these lights in. Right so we've got four LEDs up there they're the color temperature of 6000k to 7000k and if you have a look around the room you can see it really is very bright very white it is similar to daylight. Now we're going to have the same room but this time we're going to do it in the warm white light, which is 2700K to 3000K. Okay, so now you can see these are the 2700K to 3000K, the warm white, and you can see the room is much more yellower. So when you look at the, you know, the sink and the toilet, everything just looks more yellow. So it really can affect the room, you know, the colours you choose on the walls and everything. They will all look different depending on the lights that you put in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to flick between the rooms with the different lights in so you can see where the higher the temperature of the light, the higher the Kelvin, it's a lot whiter, whitish blue, and the lower it's a lot more yellow. Okay, so that's me done now. So if you're happy with your lights at the moment and you're mostly using incandescent and halogen and you want to go over to LED, then definitely go for the warm white. So for example, this is the LED, warm white here, and this is the old G9 halogen light here, which is whatever it is, 35 or 40 watts, I can't remember. And as you can see, you can barely tell the difference there at all. So this is maybe slightly whiter than this one here. So this is probably around a 3000 and this is probably around a 2700k so if you're happy with your lights at the moment and you love your house as it is you just want to go for the energy efficient and save a bit more money then go for warm light throughout and you will find that warm white will be very 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 similar to your existing halogens and incandescent lamps out there okay thanks for watching please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos take care bye now